Welcome back to Kate Chronicle. I'm Mike Rennick. Mental health is an important topic as we all deal with the pandemic, politics, and general life stress. We have the Chief Operating Officer of Gibson Recovery, Ryan Essex, here to discuss. Ryan, good to see you. Yeah, it's good to see you as well. Thanks for having me. You know, it is, it is a, a, a crazy time as, as we, we've been uh, talking about uh, with, uh, you know, the COVID-19, the election, and, um, you know, it really it just can take a toll on someone. And, and, and uh, I know that uh, on, probably on a daily basis, you guys um, are, are helping those that are dealing with mental health issues. That's an umbrella that we could talk about forever, but mm -hmm. uh, specifically with some of the things happening right now, sure. um, what are you seeing in, in our area right now? Well, certainly the stress associated with uh, dealing with uh, the pandemic and all that's come with it, you know, the, uh, the unknowns about health, your own health, your family's health, uh, the unknowns about employment, whether you're going to have a job or um, whether you're going to be able to find a job. Um, so what we've done is we've partnered with the uh, state of Missouri uh, as a result of the um, disaster declaration that the president declared in Missouri that Governor Parson uh, requested and we can provide uh, free confidential uh, uh, brief counseling and uh, referral to individuals who might be struggling. Um, we have counselors available um, to uh, talk with anyone who might be uh, struggling with how to deal with the stress associated with the pandemic or really anything that's going on in the world today. Uh, we know it's a stressful time uh, right now. You mentioned with the uh, politics and some of the, uh, the uh, other issues that have uh, been happening in our communities. If, if it's a, you know, if you let your self kind of just get absorbed by those things it, it can spiral Absolutely. and you need to kind of disconnect sometimes right yeah which is what we're trying to help people do is is to to work with them on a, a short-term basis uh, because more often than not we know that uh, these are uh, uh, when we're dealing with this pandemic it, you know we, we hope it's it's short term it doesn't last uh, uh, forever and that uh, we will be able to work our way through it but uh, we, we just want to be available to help uh, provide some of those uh, coping skills and resources that might allow a person to get through it a little easier. You mentioned having that ability to come and talk to someone and mm -hmm. that's oftentimes it, it you know it's kind of like deciding to go and exercise it's just yeah. just getting there the first time and doing it right. uh, but then the rewards are great. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Making that decision uh, for the first time can be tough, which is why we, uh, with this particular program, it, it is confidential. Person doesn't even have to share their name with us. We can just talk, and uh, they can tell us about their situation, and, and we can ho hopefully help. We were talking a bit before we started. Uh, you know, unfortunately, overdose has been something that we have seen in our area, mm -hmm. and I know that you guys are on the front lines to right. to help battle that. Yeah, unfortunately, we have seen a, a, an uptick uh, in overdoses recently. Um, you know, there are a, a lot of factors that are involved in that. Um, but uh, what we want the community to know is that there are resources available. Um, our first responders do an amazing job of uh, responding. But uh, each individual citizen can help, too. Um, uh, there is a life-saving medication, Narcan. It's... Uh, uh, very easily easily administered to an individual. Uh, we had a situation at our office in the parking lot. Someone um, uh, pulled into our parking lot a couple of weeks ago. Um, uh, they were uh, overdosed, uh, overdosing and our staff administered um, uh, life-saving medications and revived them on the scene for first responders to transport them to the hospital. And you don't have to be a medical professional to administer this. It's a very brief training. Our staff provide community uh, training on um, uh, overdose education and uh, we just want to be able to get um, uh, these resources in the hands of those uh, that need them the most. So a community member could reach out and, and ask to get certified or trained in how Absolutely. to administer this? It's a very brief uh, uh, training can be done in 15 or 20 minutes um, and we have uh, the medications available uh, through uh, partnerships on the state and federal level that we can, um, you know, it's a limited supply, but we can, um, in certain cases, give it to people uh, if, if they have a family member or a friend or, or someone who they believe is at risk. Certainly, we can help. 
That's, a, that's amazing to know. Mm -hmm. um, you know. Information that many people, kind of like we just spoke about, you know, you can, you can be a, a first responder and save lives. The community, again, being able to take, take a part in the well-being of, sure. uh, of your fellow citizen. Right. Yeah, I mean, it's, uh, you know, we're, we're all in this together, and we, we all need to support each other. Uh, both uh, through this pandemic and after, I think we we have seen um, uh, you know people come together in this and support each other, and uh, in spite of uh, you know some of the uh, divis divisiveness that we have uh, today. So, uh, like I said, we just want to be that resource to help. Is is the spotlight being uh, you know shown on mental health enough still? Do you think is is it? It seems as though you're hearing about it more and more. Uh, is it is it is it being highlighted enough as say this is this is something that people lots of people struggle with? Yeah, I don't know if it'll ever be highlighted enough, but it's it, we certainly appreciate the highlight that's being put on it now, and um, the more that we can uh, continue to educate the public and have our uh, uh, public officials and on the statewide, local, national levels talking about these issues and, and passing legislation that helps us uh, do our job. Not necessarily just um, uh, money, but uh, things that um, uh, allow us to more easily do our job. I know you guys do a lot of great work. If someone wants to take advantage of some of these uh, programs that we've been talking about today, what, what's the best way? Just to reach out to you guys? Right, yeah, so our crisis number uh, is 573-803-4145, or they can email us at crisisservices at gibsonrecovery.org. Anything else on the horizon uh, for Gibson Recovery? Um, yeah, I mean, we're just continuing to uh, increase awareness. Um, you know, there are uh, many medications out there now that uh, weren't always so readily available to help treat and uh, allow a person to more fully participate in um, uh, their own, uh, whether it be mental health or substance use recovery. So we're continuing to uh, educate the community and provide as many of those resources as we can. It's, uh, it, it, it's an amazing thing. And I think we all probably know someone who has been down the road and has needed help. Yeah, whether it be a mental health or uh, uh, an addiction, uh, everyone ha has some connection and can relate on some level and uh, again more public awareness we can get out there the better because it just allows uh, people to know that we're here and that we want to help. Well thank you so much for being here today and uh, after the break we will be hearing from Dr. Debbie Bilo from Southeast Missouri State University and the Protect the Nest campaign that's next on Cape Chronicle. Thanks Rob. Social Security is with you through life's journey from birth to retirement. As your life changes year to year, so do your needs. For over 80 years, Social Security has helped to meet your needs and is committed to improving access to the services that make a difference in your life. Today, you can verify your earnings, estimate your future benefits, apply for retirement, manage your benefits, and even change your address all from the comfort of your home. Social Security's online services help put you in control with secure access to your information anytime, anywhere, allowing you to spend more time with family, friends, or simply just enjoying the day. Social Security, securing today and tomorrow. See what you can do online at socialsecurity.gov. Produced at U.S. taxpayer expense. I've been delivering Meals on Wheels to Leon for 13 years. It's always a pleasure to see you. Leon has definitely inspired me to put more into my relationships. He really cared for his wife, who was ailing for quite a while, in such a touching way that inspired me to be a better person. Drop off a warm meal and get more than you expect. Volunteer at AmericaLet'sDoLunch.org. America, let's do lunch. America, let's do lunch. 